Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to talk about another application of the complex numbers in combinatorics. So the question as you see here is to calculate the summation of a combination of j from n, j going to 0 to n or to plus infinity because for j greater than n, larger than n, this quantity will be zero. Uh, likewise, we have the other uh, summations. Here we have the multiples of two and here multiples of th three and the other questions which are similar to these questions. So any arbitrary multiples uh, of uh, any constant, for example here three, two and one, the summation until uh, of this quantity from n over all the possible j's. So this question, in fact, we will uh, approach this problem, in fact, by considering a function f of x. Uh, so bef before going to the solution, just uh, to recall, to remind you, in fact, the combination of m from n different objects is, in fact, the different ways in order to create a group of m uh, objects from n distinct objects. So this quantity will be in fact n factorial by divided by m factorial times n minus m factorial uh, when m is smaller or equal to smaller than or equal to n and otherwise and for m larger than n this quantity will become is to will be equal to zero. So typically to calculate this quantity we start with uh, considering a function f of x equal to x plus one to the power of n. So if I, I consider the uh, development of this function I will have the summation of j from n, x, j, j from 0 to n. As, as I said you before in these series and also here, we can replace this plus n by plus infinity because of the fact that if j uh, is greater than n, this is automatically equal to 0. So, now if I replace 1 on the both sides of this equation, I will have from one hand the summation of j from n j going to 0 to n and from the other hand I will have the, the answer of the question which is 1 plus 1 to the power of n so this is the, the answer that you know uh, but the, the, the more important question is that how we can uh, solve this problem. In fact, when this j is not j, it's 2j. So 0 to n plus 2 to, from n plus 4 from n, etc. So, so this, in fact, I emphasize that I've calculated f of 1. So the value of this function evaluated at 1. And I emphasize also on this unity. So in order to solve the second question, I will uh, calculate f of 1, sorry, f of 1, which is equal to the summation of j from n, j equal to 0 to n. And also f of minus 1, which is equal to summation. So if I replace minus 1 here, I will have the summation j n j equal to 0 to n times minus, y, mi minus 1 to the power of j. So if I develop this uh, series here, I will have 0 n 1 n 2 from n, etc combination of 0, 0 from n, minus 1, n plus 2n, 
minus 3n plus. And finally, if I sum the both sides of this equa these two equations, so f of 1 plus f of minus 1, and I divide the result by 2, I will have, so this plus this one, will be cancelled. So we will have, in fact, the exact summation that we want in the second question here. So this will be exactly summation of 2j from n over all the j's, in fact, from 0 to infinity to plus infinity or to the bracket of n half. Beyond which the value, these values, will become, will be equal to zero. So, the, the for the first problem, the quantity of interest, the, in fact, the answer of the question was f of one. In the second question, the answer was f of one plus f of minus one divided by two. So, one minus one two. 1 and here divided by 1 also. So, in order to solve this third problem, so now, in fact, the, the guess that I'm considering here is the fact that this one here, in fact, the idea of this problem, in fact, is this one is the first root of unity which is equal to 1. And these plus and minus 1 are in fact the second, the square root in fact, square roots of unity. And now I will consider the third roots of unity which are equal to 1 exponential of 2 pi i over 3 and exponential of 4 pi i over 3. In fact, as you remember, if I consider the trigonometric circle in complex plane, so in order to calculate the, the nth uh, roots of unity, you should divide this 2 pi interval by n equally spaced arc in fact or angles so in in this case i should uh, i should just uh, divide this 2 pi interval by 3 uh, equal arcs so here i will have exponential of 2 pi i over 3 here i will have 1 and similarly here exponential of 4 pi i over 3 so these are the different three different roots of one, third order roots of one. So now I guess, in fact, that if I calculate f of one plus f of exponential of two pi i over three plus f of exponential of four pi i over three, and I divide the result by three, in fact, at each time, the denominator is the first time is equal to 1, next 2, and now 3, because the number of roots is 3, in fact. So, I think that this is the exact same series that we are searching for. So why? I will start by considering, in fact, the the basic function f of x that we have defined as x plus 1 to n which is in fact the summation j n x j over j from 0 to infinity or to n so f of 1 is in fact now the result is f of 1 is equal to the summation of j to n f of exponential of 2 pi i over 3 is basically summation. These summations are over j. This is j from n exponential 
of 2 pi i over 3 to the power of uh, j so 2 pi i j over 3 over all j's and at the end f evaluated at the the last root of unity summation over j j from n exponential of 4 pi i j divided by 3 now if I develop these series, I will have 0 from 1, uh, 0 from n plus 1 from n, 2 from n, etc. Likewise, I have here 0 n plus 1 n exponential of 2 pi i over 3 for j equal to 1 plus 2 from n exponential of 4 pi i over 3 j equal to 2 and finally for j equal to 3 i will have 2 pi i and the same the other terms in fact are governed by the same pattern as these terms so i will consider just the four the first four terms Similarly here, I have 0 from n plus 1 n exponential of 4 pi i third 2 n exponential of 6, sorry, 8 pi i third plus 3 n exponential of 4 pi i plus etc. If I now if I calculate the summation of these terms and I divide it by uh, n n for the moment just the summation so these terms the sum is three times one of them these terms in fact is one from n times one plus exponential of two pi i third plus exponential of four pi i third the next term is 2 from n 1 plus exponential of 4 pi i third plus exponential of 8 pi i third and the next term is 3 from n times 1 plus exponential of 2 pi i exponential of 4 pi i and the next terms in fact are the a repetition of these terms, these patterns, in fact. So, this is the summation, in fact, of these f's. So, f of 1 plus f of exponential of 2 pi i third plus f of exponential of 4 pi i third. So, I will have basically 3 times 0 from n plus 1 from n so what happens for this summation in fact this is the sum of the roots third roots of the unity so if i consider z3 minus 1 equal to 0 all these complex numbers satisfy this equation and we know that the sum of the roots of this type of, of equation is minus b so if I have an equation in fact a general equation in complex plane like azn plus p bzn minus 1 etc equal to 0 the sum of the roots summation of zi's are equal to minus b over a. a and in this case b is equal to 0 so this sum is simply equal to zero in fact here we have basically the same sum in fact one is here exponential four pi i over three is here and exponential of eight pi i over three is exactly the same as exponential of two pi i over three because of the fact that two pi over three is the same angle as 8 pi over 3. So this sum will be likewise equal to 0. And here 
we know that this is cosine of 2 pi plus i sine 2 pi, which is equal to 1. This is similarly cosine of 4 pi plus i sine 4 pi, which will be equal to 1. And the result is 3, in fact. So this times 0 to n times 0 plus 3 from n, etc which will be exactly the summation of 3j from n over all different j's, in fact, until the bracket of n over 3, or plus infinity, which is the same, in fact. So, as you see, if I calculate this quantity divided, by, and I divide the result by 3, Sorry, here there is a factor of 3, in fact. And I divide the result by 3, I will have the result of the, the answer of the problem. So f1 of 1 plus 2 pi i over 3 divided by 3. So you should basically calculate the result 2 to n, 1 plus x, exponential of 2 pi r over 3, 3 to n plus 1 plus exponential of 4 pi i 3 to n divided by 3 and we can also simplify this solution. So the basic idea in fact if I if we consider the p pth root of unity all of which satisfy the equation z p equal to z to the p is equal to 1 I will call these roots by z1, z2, until zp. And the question is, in fact, to calculate the summation j over all the j's, in fact, of j p from n. So the multiples of p, combinations of the multiples of p from n, and the summation over all j's. In order to calculate this quantity normally, based on the solution that we have proposed, you should calculate the value of the function x plus 1 to, to n, f of z1, first root, f of z2 plus f of zp divided by p. And the way that we show this theorem in the general case uh, is really complicated to show but you can see uh, how we can show it thank you very much